Neutrinos are everywhere. They permeate the space around us and can be found throughout the universe. Every second, 10,000 neutrinos are passing through your body without interacting with it at all. Understanding the origin of these neutrinos continues to be a mystery. The majority are believed to be created in interactions of cosmic rays and ambient matter or radiation fields in the vicinity of cosmic accelerators. Locating the exact source has been harder. In 2018, they thought they had located the very first neutrino point source, but the majority of the measured neutrino flux remains unexplained to date. On top of this, it is believed that there is another population of neutrinos which exists at extremely high energies. The Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna, ANITA for short, is a balloon experiment designed to detect these types of neutrinos. In a recent study, scientists have identified three very anomalous readings which seem to indicate that these neutrinos were not detected from space, but instead seem to have emanated from within the Earth itself. Let's find out why this is such a problem. So what are neutrinos? Neutrinos are believed to be a fundamental particle. They can be produced in many different ways. Some of them include beta decay of an atomic nuclei, nuclear reactions, supernova events, and when accelerated particle beams or cosmic rays strike atoms. Originally, it was thought that neutrinos had no mass, but it is now believed that they do have a very small mass believed to be less than one millionth of an electron. And they come in what they call three flavours, the tau neutrino, the muon neutrino and the electron neutrino. Each of these has a slightly different mass, and they all have a neutral charge and are thought to spin in the same direction to the left for normal neutrinos and to the right for antineutrinos. Neutrinos as such cannot be detected directly because they do not ionize materials that they pass through and they do not carry an electric charge. Antineutrinos were first detected in the 1950s near a nuclear reactor. They had a container which contained a solution of cadmium chloride in water. Antineutrinos with an energy above 1.8 mega electron volts cause a sort of beta decay within the protons in the water. Energy from the antineutrinos is used to convert a proton into a neutron, a positron and an electron neutrino. The resulting positron annihilation with the electron in the detector material creates a photon. The neutrons are captured by cadmium nuclei resulting in a gamma ray. These will be detected a few microseconds after the photon from the positron annihilation event. All the detectors are based on this principle of indirect detection. So what exactly did they detect? Using ANITA, they have detected very high energy neutrinos coming out of the Earth. This presents a problem, as at this high energy level, they should make the probability of them passing right through Earth very, very unlikely. Yet they were able to detect several of these. The second problem is that they have another detector located below the surface and this detects lower energy neutrinos, but if they are created by a cosmic source, you would expect to find these high energy neutrinos to be accompanied by many more lower energy ones. And when they scanned through the data for this detector, they could not find any events that lined up with the ANITA event. The third problem is that in order to create these very high energy neutrinos, you have to have something on a cosmical scale generating them. And when they examined the sky in the region where these particles would have originated, they could not find any evidence of a neutrino source in that direction. They proposed that this leaves no room for an astrophysical interpretation in the context of the current standard model. They claim that it could be explained by using physics beyond the standard model, including ideas such as axionic dark matter, sterile neutrinos, supersymmetry or heavy dark matter but these still suffer from the problem of not having observed the event from the underground monitor. One alternative explanation is that the high energy neutrinos did not originate from the Earth, but were reflected off subsurface features in the Antarctic ice. And this to some extent goes to show that they do not fully understand how ANITA detects these types of events. 
It is a reminder that in this case we are basing a lot of assumptions on the detection of secondary effects caused by these particles. Understanding the limitations of our understanding of the atom and examining alternative models is something I will be looking into in the near future. Models such as the structured atomic model may provide an alternative explanation to how these particles are created. As in this model, there are no neutrons. But again, we have to remember that in this experiment and any detection of neutrinos, they do not detect the neutrino itself, only the secondary effects. I'd just like to say a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters and those that donate money. As always, be brave, be curious. The truth is waiting for us. Until next time.